in the hours since the list was released, we've received many messages from those who say their abuser is not on the list. Today, Jacqueline Quinn spoke to one of the victims. It's been about 16 years since Ashley Barry Allen says she was abused by a priest at Our Lady of Prompt Sucker School. It was and still remains very painful. That's never going to go away. I just have to cope. But there are days she has flashbacks. And it would be just right there in the vestibule. I can, I still can't bear to have my husband hold my face. It's been hard to talk about, but back in July of this year, she was shocked to find out her abuser passed away and she felt a flood of emotions. You know, I feel kind of like a coward that now, only now, once he's dead, that I've finally felt this anger and this rage and this need for people to know what he did. However, his and death helped like, release her I from fear to speak myself. up, and today she doesn't want other victims to feel ashamed. My, my Facebook page for a while, I took three photos of what I looked like at 12 and 13. The pictures, she says, shows how young and vulnerable she was, and she tells us since July she's been in contact with the Archdiocese documenting her emails and voicemails. But after seeing the list come out Friday, she was adamant the church had concealed yet another abuser. We want to be really open. We want to be honest. We want to show you that we're fixing things, but I know for a fact that they've at left at least one abuser off of the list. Barry recalls at the time of the abuse, she told a teacher and somehow the priest was removed, but it was not immediate and it allowed him to continue. Barry later moved on to high school thinking the priest had retired. 18 years old on Google and I find he's been reassigned to another church connected to a school in New York. And this is why she's telling her story. She wants to push the church to reveal more names along with acknowledgement. And I want an apology for them disregarding my teacher who reported this and sending him to another parish to possibly hurt other children. In West Wego, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. And we contacted the Archdiocese to ask if Barry Allen's acute abuser was being investigated. They would not comment specifically, but they did say, we take all phone calls of accusations seriously and investigate. There are very few pending investigations that are not concluded. Our intent is to complete investigations and add names to the list if necessary.